परिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्री राधा कृष्ण पाद सहगन ललित श्री विशाखन्ता गुरवे गौरचंद्राय राधिका स्तद कृष्णा कृष्ण भक्ताय तदक्ताय नमो नम वंदे गुरुपद भक्तवृंद श्रीचैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नंद सहोदित श्रीनंद नंदन वंदे राधिका चरण दोपी जन सजुत वृंदावनो मनो जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवासदी गौरभक्तवृंद श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत शिवदाधर शिवसदी गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Jai Sapuri Ka Shri Guru Gauranga Radha Madan Mohan Ji Radha Govind Ji Radha Gopinath Ji Radha Narayana Nath Ji Jai Sri Guru Raj Maharaj गुरुदेव श्री प्रभुपाद समस्त रूपान गुरुपा वैष्णव बृंद तुलसी महाराज पाद पद्म जयस्तु फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई ऑफर माय मोस्ट रेस्पेक्टफुल ओबीसीएंसिस अंडर द लोटस फीट ऑफ देयर डिवाइन ग्रेसेस Guru Pada Padma, all Guru Pada Padmas, Sishila Bhakti Rakshaka Siddhar Deva Goswami Maharaj, and as none different from him, Sishila Bhakti Dwaita Madhav Goswami Maharaj, Shiksha Shanyasha Guru, Sishila Bhakti Pramod Puri Goswami Maharaj. श्रीशिल भक्ति वैभव पुरी गोस्वामी महाराज श्री भक्ति प्रज्ञान केशव महाराज केशव गोस्वामी महाराज ऑल द रूपान गुरु वर्ग हम ली प्रे डिवाइन ग्रेस दे आर मर्सी बी बेस्टोड अपन मी अपन ऑल ऑफ यू दे आर अपटर Offering my most respectful prostrated obeisances 
under the lotus feet of his divine grace, Param Guru Padapadma, Param Hangsha Kula Mukutamani, Sishila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur Shila Prabhupada. Praying with all humility, His causeless grace, mercy be bestowed upon me, bestowed upon all of you. May they, may they be very pleased with us, be affectionate with us, and grace our life. Compassionately be gracing our lives. All glories, all glories to all our Guru Bhargo, Shaparshat Jagat Guru Shila Bhakti Siddhant, Sarsadi Thakur Prabhupada. Also, I was missing to include His Divine Grace of Bhakti Vedanta Shami Prabhupada Ji Maharaj. So, offer most respectful obeisance to His Divine Holy Lotus Feet and praying for His mercy bestowed upon all of us. All glories to all our exalted Guru Bhargava from Vaishnava Brahma. All glories to the assembled devotees. My, my affectionate regards to all of you, the assembly, good hearts. I enjoy Madame Gopal Prasad, Mother Tunga Vidya Devi Dashi. Appreciate the way Simadi Tunga Vidya Devi Dashi, Madame Gopal Prasad. Family, family of the devotees, organizing, arranging Krishna Katha program in this apparently small but very beautiful white temple, mm, representing pure Krishna consciousness, Mahaprabhu consciousness, Radha Krishna consciousness. We truly appreciate. Mm. This is one of the very beautiful Sankirtana. Sri Krishna Sankirtana centers in the European countries. So, our Simat, one of the great Vaishnava Thakuras, Simat Bhakti Vallabh Tirtha Goswami Maharaj, came over through his special auspicious connection. Mm, to his great pure de devotional connections. Here, this beautiful center manifested for, for the purpose of great Krishna Sankirtana, pure Krishna Sankirtana movement, also inspiring us to engage in pure devotional services to Siman Mahab Gaura Nittananda Divine Kapi Radha Madan Mohan Govinda Gopinachyo So very nice See Our faith our Sila Guru Maharaj, our Guru, Guru Bhargo, always laid a special emphasis on cultivating our enlightened faith, intelligent, enlightened faith with all devotion to the Supreme Lord, Lord Krishna. Vishwasa, Sadha Vishwasa. Guru Varga also laid importance on cultivating or receiving higher spiritual knowledge, higher spiritual intelligence and knowledge, conceptions of Siddhanta. Besides that, they also laid very special importance on cultivating our devotional faith, 
with all sincerity. Devotional faith with all sincerity, which is in other words called Sadha. And if that Sadha is there, then the world of Krishna consciousness is also there for us. Mm-hmm. When we have genuinely, genuinely respectful faith, devotional faith, mm-hmm. with all, mm-hmm. with the insisting, insisting way, insisting principles of feeling some love in the Sankirtana, in the service of the Mahaprabhu Divine Kapu. Then, Sadha Mayama Loka. Then I am there. My whole Loka, my Dhamma, my consciousness, my manifestation, my presence is there. When you have deep faith, devoted faith in me, loving faith in me, through that you are actually living in my consciousness. I am there. If you do not have, I am not there. In spite of the fact I am omnipresent, I am omnipresent, I am everywhere, but still you do not directly feel, do not directly feel about me, about my presence. I still remain irrelevant in your life because you do not have proper focus, attention, respectful attention, respectful search, eagerness to search for me, relate with me, because you cannot easily, you cannot you cannot generally, easily, in a direct way, can always conceive of me, cannot experience me, conceive of me, cannot connect with me. So you think, I am irrelevant in your life. But as soon as you have your focus, your contemplation, Faithful contemplation on me, I am there for you. In a subtle way. First of all, you must try, we must try to understand. Krishna says, first of all, you must try to understand my presence is that of subtle character, unlike the experience of the material objective ways, materially tangible ways. My Manifestation is that of spiritual character, spiritual nature, mystically, divinely subtle nature, transcendental nature. You have to be, you have to be connecting to that frequency. You have to be connecting with that spiritual frequency of mind, a transcendental frequency of mind. Then I am there for you. I am spontaneously, spontaneously starting discussing about this point. Often the questions of the devotees there. I don't feel much. I don't feel connection. I don't feel any connection or experience, direct experience about Supreme God. How can I have that? Hmm. This is the way. The faith is a, is a great key to the success or our entrance into the divine world of God realization. Realization about Mahaprabhu, Radha, Krishna. In Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna beautifully explaining for all specifically, for 
for all his devotees. For all his devotees, are, including the prospective ones, prospective devotees. Yo mang, yo mang pashati sarvatra, sarvatra sarvancha mani pashati. Yo mang pashati sarvatra, sarvancha mani pashati. Tasya hang na pranashami, sachami na pranashati. One, one who sees me, who can see me everywhere and sees, one who sees everything in me. I cannot be lost from him and he also cannot be lost from me. <laughs> Living in Krishna consciousness. Lord Krishna beautifully, wonderfully pointing out to that reality. When you are seeing, when, when you can see me everywhere, you can feel my subtle presence everywhere. And you can also see everything in me. You can feel that everything also connected with me, nothing but my energy, mm -hmm. whether external energy, marginal energy or internal energy, all of my energy. Mm -hmm. Then when you become situated and entuned with that consciousness, I repeat, when you become situated in that consciousness, in that vision, in that experience, when you become in tune with that frequency of the high class Mahabhagavata vision, transcending vision, seeing me everywhere, everything in me, then you can never be lost from me. I can also I can never be lost from you. And you're also never lost. Okay, from my side. This is very scientific. Question will arise how to do that. Same question arising again and again, how to do that? We're all understanding by intelligent by intelligence and by our conceptual ways, we understand it. Very beautiful ways. Beautiful ways of the description about how to see God, how to see Supreme Lord, how to connect the Supreme Divine Truth, how to relate, how to experience our Supreme Absolute Divine Truth. But then, how to actually do that? Lord Krishna says in a simplified way, just be, just be what you are, just, just be very sincere and very sincerely try to do that and keep on insisting with, with endless hope with endless immortal hopefulness, I repeat, with endless immortal hope and hope, keep on insisting and contemplate on that feelings, I want to do that, I want to feel that, I want to feel in that way as Lord Krishna is advising. Be insisting of bhasha, through bhasha yoga, through dhyanam, mm. keep on insisting and insisting to keep on insisting and insisting with that desire, invaluable desire, to have that connection with me. At some point it will come, it will just come. At some fortunate moments it will be clicking. It will click and you know what it is. You feel the connection. That 
Krishna also in simplified way, Lord says, don't think much. Just do it. Go for it with deep faith. That it can happen. It is a great reality that I can directly experience about the Supreme Lord. It can happen. It did happen in the past lives. It did happen in the past, in the lives of the great realized devotees. Greatly wise, realized devotees, exalted devotees. Be following in their footsteps with faith, it will also happen for you. Don't doubt, it will happen for you. Just be very sincere, open-hearted and try with the best of your ability, with all sincerity, to insistence, insisting. Hmm. Even have beautiful imagination, beautiful, very ima great, beautiful imagination about having one day having that divine connection with me, feel, seeing me, feeling my presence everywhere and everything in me. You can also feel yourself, see yourself in my connection, discovering yourself in relation to me and also see yourself in connection with me. Be contemplating on that. Have beautiful, wonderful, mystically beautiful, wonderful imaginations even and keep on insisting with faith. Keep, in, keep, keep on insisting of that reality. Keep on, in other words, contemplating, meditating. Very hopeful, Hopeful meditation. Keep on hopefully meditating. Mm. And contemplating med uh, with immortal faith. With your doubtless faith about me. At some point you will be feeling that. And once you have that connection, <clears throat> then you <clears throat> you'll have no more questions about who is God, how to connect to God, whether He exists or how much He exists. How can we experience? How can we have relation with Him? How can we relation with that supreme divine God, supreme divine Goddess, when we do not know anything about Him or Her? We cannot directly feel anything about the Supreme Absolute Divine. How can we have relation? In order to have some relationship, cultivating relation with Him, I have to have some conception, tangible experience. All this, your loving complaints will go away. Mm. With the with the reciprocations from my side, having some reciprocations from my plane, plane of perfection. You will find yourself in divine connection with me, entuned with that higher divine frequency of my experience, and experiencing yourself in relation to me, in connection with me experiencing me and also experiencing yourself in connection with me and feel blissfully, blissfully fulfilled. Mm. When you receive even a glimpse of that blissful fulfillment, and that even becomes an endless joy for you. Even a glimpse of, even a glimpse of my joy, of my bliss, becomes endless experience of endless joy for you. Such is the character. Such is the character. Mm -hmm. Just as a small spark, small spark of fire. I repeat, just as a small spark of fire can grow into such a big, huge fire when it is fueled. When it is fueled. Mm -hmm. So, in a glimpse of taste about me can grow into huge 
endless taste of my endless ecstatic experience, divine experience of mine, provided you want that and cultivate. Keep on cultivating. Through your contemplation, through your objective practical engagement in my devotional service, through your best well wishes for, own, for your own self, through your best good wishes, to have that for your own self. Keep on faithfully contemplating and meditating on that with all humility and with devotion as much as you may have. You can have according to your capacity. Don't give up. Don't give up. Mm. See, so I can say, so back to the point, faith, enlightened faith is so very, very important in our lives. Lord Krishna, Guru, Guru Bhargava explains, Guru Maharaj beautifully explaining. When you have eyes, the whole world of beauty and vision is present for you. When you have ears, whole world of beautiful sound vibration, beautiful sound vibration, music, musical melodies present for you. When you have nose, a nice world of the fragrance, world of the smells existing for you. You have tongue, world of taste existing for you. You have sensations, world of touch existing for you. If you don't have, when you do not have all these senses, although all those worlds are existing, but still they are not present to you. Still they all remain absent to you because you have no eyes, ears, nose, tongue, touching ability. So, Supreme Lord has given us, has created us, endowed with intelligence. I repeat, our Guru Bhargava explaining, so Guru Bhargava explaining, Supreme Lord has created us well equipped way, in many, in many ways well equipped with all these senses, I have just described all these senses, with some higher intelligence, thought process, with the capacity of thinking, feeling, willingness, doing many things. As we have also been created in many conditioned, limited conditioned ways, also in some other aspects, we are, we are created, equipped ways to What is the necessity of being so equipped by the Supreme Creator? What is the necessity of us for being so well equipped by the Supreme Creator? For the highest utility, for the highest use of them. If we don't make higher use, proper use, then we become loser. As we can make proper use, we can be so gainer. Similarly, Guru Maharaj beautifully explaining. So, so, as you understand, when you do not have all these senses, like eyes, ears, nose, tongue, touching ability, then in spite of the, all the worlds of like, sight or vision, sound, smell, taste, touch, are exist and are present, still they are absent to you. In spite of having their presence, still they, they remain absent to you. Not present. In a similar way, when you do not have a respectful faith, faithful consciousness about Lord, even if Supreme Lord is always present, He is ever existent, He is omnipresent, 
everywhere within you, without you, still you cannot connect with him, relate to him, still he remains absent to you. Just as the senses are not there for you, all the worlds of vision, of sight, sound, smell, taste, all are absent. Absent to you, similarly, when you do not have a respectful faith, the whole world of God consciousness, Krishna consciousness also absent to you. But as soon as you have that faithful respect from devotion, even some sincere desire to feel devotion, you are not yet having devotion, but very sincere, a cherished desire, desperate desire, wholehearted desperate desire with insisting to be feeling that all of a sudden it comes, it appears. That is the wonderful character of the world of contemplation, meditations, faithful meditations. It is also scientifically explained through the positive energy, positive feelings of our mind and heart. We can also qualify ourselves in a very positive way. We can feel ourselves with more positive energy, positive inspirations. Faith. We heal ourselves to get positive faith, through the energy of positive faith. It works. It works in our life. Hmm. So, I from time to time I give the examples. You know, sometimes in the Olympic fields, in the Olympic Games, or other in the field of great endeavors, the successful people cannot cannot be successful one time. Second time also cannot be successful, cannot break his own record. Third time when goes for it with full concentration, with full mental determination, focus and concentration, full self-conviction, I must do it, I can do it. They do it. Many of the Olympians break their own records. They could not do in the first trial. First try, second try, could not do, or the heavy weight lifting or any kind of juggling, throwing or okay, athleticism, but we find that they, they are given few chances. Okay. So, short part throwing, heavy weight lifting, juggling, throwing or how do you say? It's shooting one time, two times, they cannot achieve their goal. Again, they are given few chances, third time, fourth time, they can achieve it. What makes the difference? The factor of focus, concentration, higher level of self-confidence, I must do it, higher level of extra determination. What he was not having just before, first trial, second trial, but he started having it full of faith and when he, when he became, when he's coming up more with higher faith in himself, higher confidence, full confidence, determination, I must do it, feel in that positive way and then he's doing it. So he can make it. What is the differentiating factor is that in the beginning he didn't have that faith, didn't have that full confidence, determination. The next day he had that, Make, making the difference. So in the, in the world of the cultivation of higher spiritual life also, if, it, if this factor can be working on an objective plane, what to speak more of this objective plane, higher spiritual plane of our experience and success? While we start doing a faithful contemplation, faithful, 
you know, we try to be engaged in faithful contemplation and meditation about Supreme Lord Krishna with all cherished desire. Let me have your connection, my Lord. Let me feel you. Kindly let me. Please, compassionately let me connect you. Feel you. Feel your presence. I am so... I am so desperate. I am so thirsty. I am... I'm so thirsty to have it. And you continue with contemplation, that devotional, devoted meditation, the connection, divine connection with the Supreme Lord cannot stay far away from you, cannot st stay away from you for long. It has to manifest, it has to com compassionately descend, reveal, reveal itself in, in your realization, the divine reality, divine truth, divine experience cannot but manifest in your heart due to your sincere hankering, never ending, no giving up, non giving up, never ending, determined hankering. It will answer, respond to you. Yami Baisha Binuti Tena Lapya. This is sadhana. This is one aspect of the great sadhana. So, Jomanga Pashati Sarabatra Sarabancha Mai Pashati. Just through intelligence, we can start on con contemplating the conscious way. Jomang, how to see, how to see Supreme God everywhere. Start, begin to see superpower in the form of superpower everywhere. Jomang, Upashrati Sarvatrami. Seeing, relating, connecting to your surroundings, each and everything in the universe in my consciousness. Because when you look around, don't just look around in a in a casual way. Oh, I have already seen many times. Mm -hmm. I have already finished seeing it. I have seen it. Nothing new. No. You look into everything. Such a beautiful, wonderful manifestation of mind. It's my material energy created this whole universe. And there is also spiritual energy manifesting through apparent objective ways of the worldly activities. So when you, when you look forward, when you look in front of you, just don't look at it in a casual way. Feel, look with feelings. Okay. Supreme Creator, Supreme Creator created such beautiful world, full of greenery, greenery, high gentle beauty, okay, full of green, okay, trees, so many fruits, full of foods, okay, in the farmlands to sustain and nurture our life, to supply the nutrition, to be sustaining, nurturing our life. Okay. Look at the beautiful sky, space. How oh, expressing another manifestation of the Parama Brahma. Okay. Wonderful energy. The space, air, wind, lights, water, electromagnetic energy, the foods to supply pranic energy, to sustain our lives, the water to quench our thirst, lights to fill our heart with joy and peace and create, giving us the facility to see everything to the lights. The Supreme Creator has created this universe so beautiful, wonderful way, wonderfully mystical, very practical ways to live our lives so nicely. Mm. to live our life so nicely. 
In Christianity it is also said several times, it is, it is explained several times through the Bible, through our divine holy Vedic scriptures also. So that and then feel the gratitude to the Supreme Absolute Divine for creating us and creating this beautiful world surroundings for us to live in, to live our life, experience our life, even to have the capacity to complain to Him, that capacity to a complaining against Him sometimes also come in validated by Mahi energy, a dead body, a dead body without my energy cannot even be complaining anything, filing any complaint to me. So understand that you are living on my energy. Your very light potency is nothing but my energy. When you see, look within, your, when you look within, it is my energy. Okay. When you look outside you, Look in my energy, look out my energy, look around my energy. What you are living in, whole life you are living in, within my energy. You are surrounded, my energy is within you, without you, you are surrounded by. Feel into that reality, feel into the mm, wonders, mysterious the wonder, wonderful characters mm, feel into the wonderful presence of my energy everywhere in, in the form of your own self, in the form of your own life, because you cannot be the creator of your own self, in the form of the surroundings, big beautiful universe I have created for you for your life experience. Maybe well and all this material world, but still it is the world of experience. Varieties of experience for you. Comparative, comparative study. So, look how I have created a universe well equipped to you to help you. I mean, to help, for helping you to maintain to help you to maintain and sustain and nurture your life, to live your life happily. I have created you, I have also created the beautiful you know, surroundings, created trees, your food, water, light, lights, mm, air to breathe pranic energy from, space to have your space, Electromagnetic energy, <coughs> electricity for your communication, work, world's con communication, and everything for your facilities. Everything is there from my energy, by my energy. Scientists, they discover all these being instrumental in my hand. Actually, they, all these things are discovered, even invented through scientists through the brain <coughs> given by me. Scientists could not create their own brain. So scientists also discovering many things through the brain, intelligence given in brain which is created by me, not the scientists. So actually you have to understand, my Uttamadhikari devotees understand all these discoveries, inventions, all these scientific discoveries, inventions, also being ultimately be, being made by me through my will, and all these scientists are becoming instrumental to do that. Are just via media instrumental. That's the real vision, real truth. So, in this way, when you become conscious beyond your casual ways then you cannot, at least from your intellect, from the level of your intelligence and consciousness, you cannot but connect to each and everything within you, around you, outside you, in my consciousness. Okay. We are all surrounded, embraced within super power, endless super energy everywhere. We are living with it, within it. 
and then it starts relating to everything in Krishna consciousness happens. See, so just as when you are so back to the point, when you are looking outside, looking at everything outside, let us not be casual. Let us don't be casual way. Relate, look at everything, feeling how beautiful world is this. Oh, this is a mysterious creation of the Supreme Lord, that of material nature, spiritual nature. Many, many things happening all the time, objective way, material ways, and spiritual ways. Mm. So it's beautiful experience. Everything is miraculous here, so wonderful. To look at the beautiful side, space, okay, to look at the colors of rainbow, rainbow, okay, to look at, the, to enjoy the panoramic beauty of the beautiful nature, ocean, mountain, rivers, to breathe, breathe in the pranic energy from the air created by the same Supreme. We are not just breathing in and out, forgetting. When we know how to relate to this aspect, we can do the best pranayama. When you know, when we are connecting to our breathing activities in Krishna consciousness, in Brahma consciousness, super Brahma consciousness, that we are actually not just breathing in and out, but breathing in pranic energy from, the, from this beautiful air, I mean, from this air, wind, breathing in the oxygen, the pranic energy to invigorate us and rejecting, eliminating non-pranic energy. Again, breathing in the fresh pranic energy from the, from the air. When you know, when you are very thirsty and drinking the water, let's feel oh, this life-sustaining potency within the water is now quenching my thirst, giving me pranic energy, supplying so much pranic energy in the form of water. This air giving me so much pranic energy in the form of air. Life's giving me, helping me so much to visualize things. If I would not have sight vision, my life would be hellish type. Oh, so... And oh, while, while eating the food, let us not be casual. Eat the food, or the, the mode of Mahaprasadam, eating, tasting Mahaprasadam. Actually, we are tasting and eating the pranic energy from the food. It's another conception energy of Krishna for created maintaining, for the maintenance and sustenance nurturing of my life. So in this way, while we can connect to each and everything in Krishna conscious way and contemplate, be contemplating on them, ultimately also to my own energy, I am also Krishna's energy, feeling and feel great gratitude, loving gratitude the same supreme beautiful absolute divine and that gratitude is filling our consciousness and we are relating we are connecting contemplating meditating on the supreme absolute divine beautiful truth with that then you see me when you are doing it you are actually seeing me feeling my consciousness connecting with me simply keep on cultivating that Keep on cultivating that contemplation, that feelings, realistic feelings through your devoted meditation. Be more and more in tune with that frequency, my divine frequency to experience me everywhere. Be experiencing me everywhere in a specific way. With, a special, with your special faithful feelings of me seeing and feeling everything connected with me and seeing me in everything 
including yourself. Then you actually begin to live in me, live in my consciousness. And at some point, that sort of feelings, experience about that consciousness, I repeat, that kind of feelings about me in the form of Parama Brahma, all pervading superior energy, divine energy, becomes so intensified, you, direct, you, you directly experience me, directly connect with me, experience, and you feel so happy. So happy. Brahma Bhuta Prasanna Atma Na Sochuti Na Kamsuti Samasar Vesu Bhudesu Den Mad Bhakti Lavati Param And the more you have such experience of me, your bhakti for me also develops. Such, such experience begins with initial bhakti with deep faith and this, again such experience further cultivates your further hmm, bhakti, higher level of bhakti, more and more complementing each other. See, Vidyati Hridaya Granthi Chiddanti sarva samsaya, kshiyanti chasya karmani, mai dhishti akhilatmani. Same truth is being explained in Srimad Bhagavatam through this verse. Vidyati hridaya granthi, chiddanti sarva samsaya. Vidyati hridaya granthi, all the great, all the great, you know, points of obstacles, Illusory obstacles, impediments, obstructions, obstructing portions in your life all get open, all become removed. All the big knots, big complicated knots of all your obstructions due to your limitations become open up, get removed. Vidyate Hridaya Granthi. So, with the, with the opening, with the removal or opening of all your solid obstructions, blockages on the way to relate to me, gets open and removed. You start connecting with me. Vridhati Hridaya Granti. Then Chiddanti. With such happening, with, with, with such type of happening, such type of happening in your life, chiddanti sarva samsaya, all your doubts become removed. All your doubts are removed, are destroyed. All your doubts are gone. With the realistic experience about me, even at the starting point, chiddanti sarva samsaya, Kshiyanti, Chasya, Karmani, all your past sinful activities, all your, all the effects from your past sinful action, reactions, karma, all removed, all destroyed, all reduced. Okay, all get, start getting reduced and reduced and then totally abolished, destroyed. Kshiyanti, Chasya, Karmani, what is the result? On what state it happens? While you can see me everywhere, everything in me, then I am seen by you all over, everywhere, all around you, through, all over the universe. You cannot see everything. You cannot see everything but with my connection. <coughs> In other words, you see you see everything in my connection and you see me. You see me in everything, everywhere. You can feel, in other words, you can see and feel my presence all over the universe, through all the universal energy in different forms and you also see them okay being related with me 
शक्ति एंड शक्तिमान आई एम शक्तिमान एंड माय शक्ति ऑल यू कैन सी एक्सपीरियंस नॉन डिफरेंटली नॉन डिफरेंटली रिलेट टू मी एंड माय एनर्जी मैनिफेस्टेशन दिस वे माय दिस चक्रवात यू कैन सी मी इन अखिलात्मा यू कैन सी एंड फील माय प्रेजेंस इन अखिलात्मा एवरीवेयर ऑल परवेदिंग manifesting all pervading way everywhere hmm. it is mahabhav but it is very realistic very practical very practical realistic vision but of transcendental character transcendentally realistic vision mai drishti akhilat mani in another way same verse is spoken मई दृष्टि मई दृष्टि पड़ा बड़े मई दृष्टि पड़ा बड़े सींग मी सींग माय प्रेजेंस लाइक इन फाइनाइट ओसन इन फाइनाइट अनलिमिटेड पैरागन ओसन देन ऑन दैट स्टेट वाइल वी कैन बी इन ट्यून इन दैट on that level on that dimension transcendental divine dimensions of the vision no such questions come up how to connect to god how to see god how to relate to god how to relate to his energy see it is there it's there everywhere it's there for you just remove the illusion illusory <coughs> conditioning <coughs> that what makes you feeling separate that you cannot cannot understand me know at all about me cannot connect with me hmm. one can do that you can do that through your through your faithful contemplations meditations faithful hankerings faithful and hankering full hankerful contemplation and meditations to relate with me while engaging in so a devotional services then one day it must happen one day you must feel cannot but feel this divine connection with me passively or actively it might start in your life in a passive way at some point as you grow further you will be feeling actively my connection more actively and actively so devotee should not be worrying just be developing be blossoming be cultivating with more faith loving faith mm. without bothering about nothing is happening will it really happen in my life when it will happen how, how to how will happen how going to happen nothing is happening i am being out of patience don't bother <laughs> don't be bothering about all this don't be caring just know it will be happening <laughs> asha bandha hridi let me my duty is to keep on trying and trying and trying with the best of my ability best best of my sincerity ability with the best of my intention to do that now he kalyano ki prasthi durgati tato gachati now he kalyano ki prasthi durgati tato gachati it will be happening Some revelation, great revelation will come at some point. Or when you start, when you start in that way, what I have just described, when you really make a start with that sincerity and intention, purity of intention, what happens actually? It has already started happening in your life, but it's not coming up to the surface of your experience. Till you have to wait. 
when it will come up to the tangible level of the surface of your experience, then you will know, yes, now I feel some connection, it is happening. Sometimes in our normal devotee's life, in course of our spiritual lives, some of us have already experienced some very special happy moments, very special ecstatic moments, taste of spiritual life. Some of us have experienced but that didn't stay for long. It is so invaluable and priceless gift. It may not continue for long, but when it comes down, when it reveals, manifests in our life to the, for a, okay, giving us the hope of highest fortune of life, ambrosial fortune of life, then we know what it is. So it is not that. A devotee's life is only full of sadness and disappointment all through spiritual life. Maybe rarely, but at times. Maybe rarely, but at times. We also receive some glimpse of great happiness and satisfaction, conviction. Hmm. Through our Shankirtan activity, through our meditations, very happy moments. And they are very fruitful. Those moments are very, very fruitful. Very positive signs. And our Krishna Dash Kaviraj Goswami was saying, whenever, in whatever way and whenever you receive, you receive the great manifestation of those most wonderful, beautiful moments, most wonderful ecstatic moments in your life, even in initial level, embrace it. Don't let it go. Be embracing it. Be embracing them wholeheartedly, close to your heart. Be embracing, embracing it. Okay, grow intimately, close to your heart, and be decorating that those moments with your father, loving prayers. Decorating them with the flowers and chandanam. Worship them with all your devotion. Worship them with all your loving adorations. Whenever you are receiving the revelations of those most wonderful, wonderfully beautiful, transcendental, fortunate moments in your life, in your life, although it can be rare. Hare Krishna. Our Guru Bhargava tasted it, what I am, what I have been explaining in this way. Our great Guru Bhargava likes it. Srimad Bhakti Daita Madhav Goswami Maharaj. Bhakti Rakshak Sivad Dev Goswami Maharaj. Bhakti Vedanta Shami Prabhu Pajji Bhakti. Srimad Bhakti Pramod Puri Goswami Maharaj. All other Guru Varga. You know, they tasted it. They directly experienced many times. And at some point they also began to be living in such divine consciousness. Constantly in their lives, in different dynamics, different ways, but they have to continue to live in their lives mm. in that way and engaged in pure devotional services. Mm. I remember I heard from Sila Guru Maharaj. I heard, I heard from Sila Guru Maharaj about it. One of the wonderful characteristics, with beautiful, attractive qualities and characteristics of Srila Bhakti Daita Madhapur Shai Maharaj. How dedicated he was, how lovingly dedicated he used to become. He has always been in the field of offering devotional services. I heard from Srila Guru Mahalaj, lot of appreciation. 
You all know about that true story, that fact. Once it so happened, at that time he was still, he was still manifesting as mm, Srimad Hayagrip Das Brahmachari Ji. Hayagrip Das Brahmachari Ji. Hayagrip Das Prabhu. Mm. And everybody knew, every, everybody knew, Sri Sarsri Thakur Prabhupada also knew with great appreciation that he was, he was a devotee with divine volcanic energy. He used to be engaged in devotional service for hours, for hours without taking much rest. So, so enthusiastic, so he used to be engaged in devotional services, not with like, oh, I'm feeling so tired, I cannot do more, <laughs> so let me, it's enough now, let's take a break. <laughs> that kind of feelings, that, 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 those, those ways were practically absent in his life. Although he was becoming physically tired, but his he remained mentally so happy, spiritually always so happy. He would be carrying on all the services, service duties in his life tirelessly, so much joy, so much joy and enthusiasm, enthusiastic joy, even if he was getting physically tired. He was not bothering about it. <laughs> such, a, such a devotee of this caliber of such higher capacity. Once it, once it so happened, he came back from the preaching too. I heard from Srila Guru Maharaj's special loving appreciation. Once he came back, just came back from a, <clears throat> from, from a diligent, how do you say, diligent preaching too. Paid Sastanga Pranam, obeisance to the holy feet of Gurudev Sarasvati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada. Mm. And then the time Sarasvati Thakur Prabhupada was engaged in Harikatha. When he came back from that mm, energetic, energy consuming preaching through and came to have that, came to had darshan of his Guru Padma, Guru Mahas Harshri Thakur Prabhupada, while he was engaged in some Harikatha, surrounded by some of his dear associates. And he also sat there. He sat there. He could not, he didn't want to miss Harikatha, although physically he was feeling so tired. Tired. He needed to go and refresh and take some rest. But here, Harikatha of Gurudev going on. Harikatha of the Guru Maharaj going on. Prabhupada. How could he go away? He just, he joined it. Sat there. Immediately, he connected to that flow of Harikatha. He connected to the nectarian flow of his Guru Maharaj Harikatha. Started enjoying so much. Forgetting about that he needs to replace go and there is some flow of nectar. And then at some point, before others, before few others, there are not so many, but fewer disciples, few uh, disciples of Sarsuri Thakur. So Sarsuri Thakur Prabhupada, in a curious way, with some in a curious, happy way, he asked him, mm, You tell me, I agree, Prabhu. Mm, can you tell me mm, what really pleases you the best? What, what, can, what can make you the happy? In utmost way, in other words, tell me by which you become pleased to the extreme, you receive the highest happiness, 
feel the highest happiness, hmm? highest pleasure. Can you tell me about any experience? <coughs> and he looked at Sri Prabhupada, my Guru Maharaj. Suppose, take, take for example, when I have come from when I have come from very energetic, energy-consuming preaching tour, I feel physically exhausted. I feel so physically exhausted, I cannot go on anymore. I need to rest, I need to sleep. It's feeling so tired. Right at this moment, right at that moment, if you give me a further order, if you order me further, I agree. Now I give you this, this responsibility of this devotional service. It is quite urgent, very, very important, urgent. You have to do it right now. And then I feel my extreme happiness. My joy knows no bound. That I have been, I have been so fortunate that even in this condition, my Guru Maharaj is wanting me to engage in a new devotional service. So giving me, blessing me with an important, very, very, very important devotional service. He loves me so much. What a great fortune I have got. I'm such a highly fortunate soul. My Guru Maharaj is still considering me, uh, considering me, engaging me in devotional service at this condition. He is wanting that, this to me. He depends on me, loves me so much, he has got so much faith in me that I will be able to do this devotional service so nicely. Therefore, he is depending on me, relying on me and he is ordering me, choosing me. Guru Maharaj, I become extremely happy. That, be, that brings the highest pleasure in my life. It, it brings the highest pleasure, highest happiness in my life, making me feel greatly fortunate. Everybody became startled. Everybody became happily shocked, positively shocked. No negatively shocked. Positively, they were wonder struck by hearing his answer. And Sarsri Thakur Prabhupada was appreciating to hear that answer. Okay. Hi. And Guru Maharaj was there. Guru Maharaj was looking at his face and his Guru's face. <laughs> Guru Maharaj was looking into his face. His dear most higher grip Brahmacharya, higher grip Prabhuji's face and Guru Maharaj's face, Lashashri Thakur Prabhupada's face. Looking at both of them and feeling into their appreciation for each other mm. through reciprocations. So Sri Thakur Prabhupada became so happy. His answer made him so happy. Factually, okay, his, factually, Sri Sri Thakur Prabhupada's disciples were sitting there, realized that Sri Sri Thakur Prabhupada, their Guru Mahaj wanted to manifest Madhav Goswami Maharaj, Hayagri Brahmachari Prabhuji's real character, deeper character before all. Sarsri Thakur Prabhupada already knew about such his inner characteristics, such his inner hmm, character, pure devotion, pure devotion to the service of the Lord. But he actually wanted to bring it out, he wanted to rather manifest this wonderful Vaishnava quality, special character before others. Mm. To set the examples, what is the very high class intention, high class mode, high class nature of engaging in devotional service? Prabhupada, Prabhu, they used to call Prabhupada as Prabhu in a very beloved way. Prabhu. Again, when you give me a further order, even in that condition, to engage in, in a newer devotional service, 
then I become so intensely happy, highly happy, that my Guru Maharaj is considering me so qualified in this way. He doesn't want to let me go from the devotional service. He loves me so much and depends on me so much, has got so much faith in me to bless me with the devotional, newer devotional side. I become more happy. My joy knows no bounds at that time. So, so they are Guru Maharaj, so Sarsha Thakur Prabhupada, all the God brothers appreciate it so much. Why I'm giving such example? One of the realistic examples of how they live their life in Krishna, pure Krishna consciousness constantly. How the great, great pure devotees such as Sila Bhakti Daita Madhav Goswami Thakur continuously, they, they continue to be living their life in pure loving Krishna consciousness. <laughs> That even many times they are not bothering about the physical exhaustion. Uh, being happy, was becoming feeling so happy to receive a newer devotional service. After completing one, another coming. After completing one, let another come. So much, so much devotion, so much loving tenacity, so much love attraction is there are getting, receiving newer and newer service from his Gurudev. See, opposite way to our worldly nature. Oh, it's enough. Why my Guru Maharaj is telling me again? <laughs> now, maybe he should consider about my situation with more kindness. He should be resting. Why my Guru Maharaj is ordering me further? See, the mood is opposite. Transcendental, it cannot be possible in ordinary common way. Transcendental, and tune, whole, his whole mood and temperament, feelings and tuned in a transcendental way. Gauravibhava, living, the living example of how to be engaging in loving devotional service to Mahaprabhu. Gaura Nittananda, Gaura Nittananda, Kadadharu, Divine Kapu, their Guru Pada Padma. Here is another example of the Vedanta Swami Prabhupada. You know, no day and night. <laughs> in the old age, in, so, in the old age, made so much sacrifices. No day and night. We find many such examples among our Guru, Guru Bhargo, in my Guru Maharaj, our other Guru Bhargo. Is that they are engaged in that loving Krishna consciousness, loving devotional Krishna consciousness, either, either in this way or that way, okay, either in this form or that form, constantly. I repeat, they are always engaged in loving devotional Krishna consciousness 24 hours within 24 hours. Even the resting also included in a Krishna conscious way. Everything. Because they have already been dedicated in the first place. They have already been fully belonging to the their beloved Lord in the first place. So, so Automatically, what happened, automatically all their efforts, all their endeavors also became fully belonging to the interest of Krishna, Krishna Radhika, Mahaprabhu, could not be other than that. Whatever they do, whatever they did, whatever they do, whatever they perform cannot but be for the service, devotional service to Mahaprabhu, Divine Kapila. They are Guru Maharaj. Mm. They are so divinely situated. They are so 
divinely situated, transcendentally, devotedly situated in their lives. Nithai Gaur Haripo. I am putting my Harikatha to rest over here for, for this evening.